Well, a fine good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Barrie, Vermont today, and this is Hope Cemetery. I mean, if this stuff doesn't scream cemetery, I'm not sure what does, but, uh, you know. Anyway, I do want to talk about uh, this person right here, Frank Gaylord. Now, I don't have the uh, paperwork with me. I wasn't able to print it off, so I'm going to be doing it from memory. So please, bear with me. If I'm making mistakes, I'll correct them on uh, my website, travelingforhistory.com. And uh, certainly in the description below if, it's, if it fits. So, so Frank C. Gaylord II, Private First Class, U.S. Army during World War II, lived from 1925 to 2018. He made it past his birthday, so the dates are even. He received the Bronze Star Medal. I do believe that is for valor. And let's see, 11th Airborne uh, Division. So why should we know him? He's specifically listed as a famous person buried here at Hope Cemetery. And uh, so what did he do? He was an artist. And if you've seen the stainless steel uh, uh, statues for the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C., he is the one who created them. The U.S. Postal Service came out with a stamp uh, commemorating that without his permission. So they used the likeness without his permission and he sued the U.S. Postal Service and won. They settled for $685,000. Wow. But they should have asked. They are supposed to ask. Anyway, uh, that's what I remember about uh, Mr. Gaylord II. Um, and that's the family headstone right there. Other Gaylords are buried here as well. I can't read some of these. Um, Mary C. Gaylord, mother and grandmother, March 20, 1928 to January 19, 2005. Um, yeah. So, anyway, fascinating stuff. Some other interesting things about Hope Cemetery, as long as I have your attention, is uh, it's been estimated that about 75% of these memorials here were created by the people who were lying beneath them. Italian artisans came over to, the, to Barry, to the U.S., specifically to Barry, uh, because of the, the um, growing granite industry. So, uh, <clears throat> silicosis... Uh, which is the dust created when one uh, is um, carving granite, um, or carving stone anyway. Um, these sculptures would be breathing it in, and um, it would kill them. Horrible way to die. Um, and also, the granite produced is called berry gray. Barry is the self-proclaimed granite capital of the world, and it's been estimated that in the U.S., about one-third of all tombstones and grave markers have come from Barry. Wow. If you want to come visit this place, it's open 7 in the morning, close to 5 p.m. Pretty amazing. All right, that's all I had to say uh, for right now. I have a lot of videos about this place that will be on my channel, and um, please enjoy. If you want to follow me, I'm on social media. I'm on um, Twitter, traveling for high one, traveling for H I numeral one, um, and every place else is under traveling for history. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, I'm everywhere. And I have a website called travelingforhistory.com or .org. Either one will get you there. So please stop by. Please stop by and say hi. I am uh, online practically daily. Well, yeah, I'm online daily. Uh, anyway, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And to the 217 who have already done so, thank you. I truly appreciate it. And until I see you again, this is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. 
You have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.